Scrubs, as you can already tell by the title, we will be doing a full makeup look using only small businesses. I'm super excited for this video. You guys know how I love to support small businesses. So before we get into it, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and put your notification bell on so you don't miss out on all of this. And we're going to get right into it. First things first, you guys already know we're going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and priming our eyes. This gives us a nice white base so that our shadows are nice and pigmented. Now you want to make sure that you blend this all over your eye and also blend it into the concealer that you use to clean up your brows. So that's what I'm doing here. first small business is Mercy Me Cosmetics and this is their Mademoiselle palette. I um, just recently got this and I was super excited to try it out. I'm doing a nice Valentine's Day soft beginner friendly glam here and I am looking forward to see how this turns out. So I'm going in with the light brown shade in this palette and I'm going to use a fluffy brush to blend this all over my crease. As you can see I'm using windshield wiper motions and I'm going back and forth. Then I'm going in with this dark brown shade, and these shades do have names. They will be all on the screen because I don't remember it right now, but I will put it on the screen. And I'm blending that shade into my crease using another fluffy but still stable brush. And I'm just blending it back and forth using windshield wiper motions and making sure that I'm blending it into the brown. Now I'm going into this pinkish brownish shade and I'm applying that above the dark brown and between the brown, the light brown that we applied. Or you can just plop it right on top. Either way, you just want to blend it above that dark brown. Make sure that you're blending it into the light brown. And the light brown kind of acted as a base to kind of lighten this eyeshadow look up. So that's what we're going for. We're doing windshield wiper motions and I went back in with that dark brown and I'm just blending it in because it kind of faded when I used the other pink shade. Now I'm going in with this shimmery, kind of a rose gold shimmer and I'm applying it with my brush but the brush was not giving me the pigment I needed so I went in with my finger to apply this shimmer all over my lids. No cut crease needed for this look. You just apply it right on your lids and then I applied this silver shimmer in my inner corner and I blended it out with the rose gold shimmer. Super easy, super simple. Lastly, you're going to take that brush that we used to apply the darker shade. And we're just going to blend the edges in around the shimmer just to make it look nice and seamless. Now I'm going in with the Divine World Lashes Cosmetics and I'm going to apply this adhesive eyeliner. Now this adhesive eyeliner is one of my favorites to use. Once you apply the eyeliner, you stick on your lashes and it's like magic. No glue nothing i think this is super beginner friendly especially if you struggle with using glue or applying on lashes this is easy you just put on the eyeliner and plop on your lashes super easy super simple and excuse my ashy hands in that previous clip because i don't know why my hands are so ashy but this is the okay beauty um prep and care skin oil and i love using it um keeps my face nice and moisturized under my makeup and then this is not a small business this is just milk of magnesia i decided to show you guys um my primer i was going to use today and i'm using this milk and magnesia for my primer and yeah so i'm gonna put my foundation on off camera and then i'm going in with my melanated me beauty foundation stick this is coffee and i'm using coffee as um a concealer but it is a foundation stick and obviously it's really really dark for a concealer and then i'm going in with their fawn foundation stick and that's going to be my lighter concealer for the day so this is just the base concealer and then I'll move on to a lighter concealer. Next, I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend my concealer out or my foundation stick out, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm starting under my eyes. Normally, I would like to wait a little bit so that the concealer under my eyes can get tacky. But since this is a foundation stick, you can just go in and blend it because the concealer is much thicker than like normal concealer.
and now I'm setting in my concealer using this setting powder. I'm not going to mention this setting powder because it's not a small business. I couldn't find a small business setting powder to promote that I had already. So yeah, I'm just going to use this powder and I look a mess. This powder was getting everywhere. But yeah, <laughs> just watch me put this all over my face. Look at me having fun with this powder. When I tell you this powder was everywhere, it was every single wear. And then I'm using this other powder to dust off the setting powder. I'm not going to mention this powder either because, you know, it's not a small business powder. But if you watch any of my other videos, then you probably already know what this powder is. So... There you go. And then I'm going in with that pinkish shade and I'm using it as a blush today. So yeah, we're just gonna rosy up them cheeks using it and we're gonna use that same shade and put it under our eyes. And then we're gonna go in with the dark shade and put it under our eyes as well. So those are two shades that will be going under our eyes today. And I'm super, super excited to be doing a giveaway very, very soon. So be on the lookout. I probably will announce it in my next video. So whatever my next video is, check it out so that you can be part of the giveaway. So I'm using the Telescopic L'Oreal Paris Mascara. This is bomb. My lashes look mad popping after using this. And then I'm going in to the gold shade and I'm going to use that as a highlight. I already applied a little bit on my um, brow bone because I want to see how it was going to look. So yeah, I'm using that gold shade as a highlight today. So we're highlighting the brow bone and then I'll go in and highlight my cheeks and my nose and all the other areas of my face that you highlight. And I also applied the silver shimmer that in this palette um, in my inner corner and on my lower lash line just in the beginning part. So that really made the whole eye look pop. And I'm going in with my lip liner. I use this in every video. Y'all should already know. Y'all should already know the dealio. And yeah, so I'm just going to line my lips up really, really nice. And I'm going to take my time. Normally, I fast forward all of this. But I decided I would just, you know, allow everything to flow. And as you can see, my eyeshadow look mad popping. I mean, you see it look all pigmented and nice and shimmery. I just really like it you know it's really cute it's really simple and i wish this came before valentine's day so you guys can have like more valentine's day looks and then i'm going in with my goodie bag cosmetics lipstick and this is in mood and it's a nice matte brown shade and i thought this was really cute and will look really nice with the pink eyes so that's it spray your face set it and that is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment subscribe to my channel and as always remember to be beautiful and love yourself and check out my next video so that you don't miss out on the announcement for the giveaway